We're going to use the 270 on this one. We'll zero in for 320, and we should be able to put it right on the center of the lung, and it should make a nice shot. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is 100 DD33, and for this video, I'm going to show you what you can expect when you hit level 60. All right, so we just hit level 60, and now we want to see how much cash we can have so you can see how much to expect that you could possibly get when you hit level 60. I didn't think I was going to hit level 60, but eventually it did happen, and we hit 790,397 cash in Call of the Wild. We won't have to worry about running out of ammo because we have plenty enough money to be able to keep our stocks replenished at all times, as well as scent eliminators, as well as scents. We have plenty enough ammo and we'll have plenty enough cash. Also, we have 293,384 XP, so that's quite a bit of XP, and we pretty much will be able to get anything we want at this point. Uh, we could check the store to see what else there is to get, but I'm pretty sure we have everything. All right, now we're going to head out and see what it's actually like at level 60, whether or not we're going to see any trophy animals, or we're going to see a bunch of does, or we're not going to see any trophies. Let's just see what it's like. All right, we just got over here to South Lake, and we found a whitetail buck. And this is exactly what's going to happen. You're going to find a lot of bucks, but they're not going to be very big. It's going to be really hard to find a 150 plus white tail buck. And you're going to search all day long and you might possibly find one. Now there's a good chance you could find a diamond. So you'll find a bunch of little bucks, but then you might find a giant buck. You aren't going to find your 130s, your 140s, your 150s. This is just based off of what I've seen in the past uh, 10 levels since I've been at level 50 all the way to level 60. I only have been seeing these little uh, between 50 and 110 score and white tail bucks. And this one right here just bedded down at 400 yards out. We are going to use a 270 and just see if we can possibly get vitals at 400 yards. This might be my farthest shot on a white tail buck. We're zeroed in for 328, so we're going to want to hold it pretty much right on the top of the lung. This thing doesn't drop too much. Shot looked really good. Let's see what happened. Yes, we did get a single lung, maybe even double lung. And we just drilled that buck at 400 yards with the 270 polymer tip bullets. I think that's going to be my farthest shot while still getting a vital. All right, we do have another doe here. And since we just took a shot, we might as well take a shot on this doe as well because it's right next to where the buck was. So we'll see what we can make happen here on her. We did use a 243 and polymer tip bullets. So that should bring her down. Yep, 50% health on that. I would imagine we might have actually got double lung. Let's go over now and go pick up that buck. We should be able to find him not, not too far up here. Yep, we did get a vital hit on that doe. So the buck should have been right over just off to the right over here. And that's kind of why I didn't really want to spot her. Yep, we do have some uh, some vital blood right here. Yep, right there. Let's check. That was a vital hit. This is the whitetail buck that we took a shot at. And he was headed this direction here. He might actually bring us right to that doe as well. Oh, our buck's down right here. Nice. I didn't realize that he only went uh, maybe 50 yards. So that very well could have been a double lung shot at 400 yards. And that's how you can see what the Palmer tips are going to do as well. This is going to be maybe a 60 or 70 scoring white tail. See what he's going to score. 84 and the shot was 402.92 yards. That was my farthest shot. But look at how much penetration that has. It went right through that front shoulder, the leg bone there, and penetrated into that first left lung at 400 yards. That was pretty cool. All right, and here's our doe down right here. She didn't go probably 60 or 70 yards, so pretty much like 20 yards further than that buck. Not bad at all. Let's pick her up. This one we took with the 243 polymer tips, and that was a single lung hit. Look at the 243 didn't have enough penetration to get double lung at 120 yards. Uh, we did use polymer tip, though, so maybe it's because we hit a little bit too far forward. All right, well, I spoke too soon because we just found a really nice white tail buck out here. This is the first buck that I've seen over 150, or at least close to 150. He's probably going to be like a 130s, to be honest. 
I can't tell. He's a long ways out there. We're looking at 400 yards again on this whitetail buck. We are going to use the 270 of Palmer tips again and see if we can't make a nice shot on him. But he is quartering at us pretty hard. So we're going to have to shift over and somehow try and get a better angle at him. I don't know how we're going to be able to do this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Real nice blacktail buck. I don't know where he came from, but I just spotted him trotting out there. This is a definite goal potential. He's going to be about 300 yards exactly. So if we could get him to slow down, that would be absolutely ideal. Especially since we do have the 243 on us with Palmer tips loaded. Oh, he's just a little ways out there though. We were coming around this point here to see if we can't swing to get broadside for that whitetail. And I just spotted what could be a goal potential white or uh, goal potential blacktail buck. Right out there. He is partially spooked though. Is that him? No, that is definitely not him. Oh, there he is, there he is. He just stepped out. 105 to 157. He's a four easy. Oh, a really nice buck. I want to see how far he is just so we can double check. I think he's about 300, but you never know. Yeah, he's 250. Broadside, perfectly broadside at 250 right there. So if we could get right up here and lay prone, we should be able to take a nice shot. All right, this should work right here. Have to get up a little bit more. That should work. And there he is, broadside. Here we go. Oh, he turned. Now he's facing right at us. Yeah, he's facing right at us. Well, we'll have to wait till he turns a little bit more. But meanwhile, we're going to shift up here and get to the top of this point so we can get a better view of him. Might actually have to zoom back out a little bit because I think he's closer than 250 right now. Is that him? I don't think that is him. No, that's the small one. Okay, there, there he is. There he is. There he is. That's a huge buck. Perfect shot. I think he's down. I didn't see him take off. We reserved him for 320 and I held it right in the center of the lung. I think we caught spine and lung on that. If so, we should have ourselves a nice gold black toe buck down right over there. And then when we swing around that point, we should be able to get a shot on that big white tail as well. And yep, he is down. I can see him from here. I wasn't 100% sure. A lot of times you take a shot in the grass and you think they go down, but really they just snuck out through a thick area and you couldn't see through the grass. But in this case, it looks like he dropped, so we made a nice shot on him. It wasn't that far of a shot, but it was at an odd range. I think he was probably 220. So if you used 160, you would have to aim a little bit high, but if you used 300, you have to aim low. So I think he was somewhere around 200 and 250. And here he is. Let's go take a look at this buck. Like I said, he should be a nice potential gold buck. And I'm going to say he's a 150 plus just because of the rack on him from that far away. He looked really big. He might be bigger than a 150 to be honest. I just, I can't quite tell. Just to be sure, we're going to take a picture of him. And we'll pat down some of this grass here. Uh, from this point of view, I'm thinking he is like a 150s, to be honest. Which will be a nice gold, so let's pick him up. 153 gold. We made a 193-yard spine shot, so awesome shot. He scored a total score of 865. We got 1,058 cash and 241 XP for that. So perfect shot on that buck. A really nice black tail. And now let's go over and see if we can get that white tail. All right, so we're just approaching where the white tail should be, and we just found another gold potential black tail right here. He is 272 yards out, a four easy, 105 to 157 on him, and we just found a bunch of black tail actually. That is a different white tail buck. That looks like the same ones I've been seeing, these little 50 to 100 scores. Another black tail there, tons of black tail here. Wow. This is a good spot. This is smaller blacktail. 
All right, I'll show you where we're at here in a second. Look at all the bucks. Is that another nice one? Three, very easy. Decent one, three, very easy. But we are gonna go after this one here at 277. Uh, I'll show you where we're at. We're over here on the right side of Belmont. Actually, no, this is South Lake. We're over by South Lake right now. And right over here is where we just spotted the black tail. We got the gold black tail right here. Our big white tail we're trying to get to is here. So as soon as we get to this point, we should be able to possibly take a 400 yard shot on this white tail here. All right, let's see if we can't get on this buck. Shot looked absolutely perfect. Depends on how far he was though. 50% must have been only a single lung. Very interested about what happened on that shot. Um, might have messed up a gold potential buck. But we do have another black tail here. We're going to see if we can't make a decent shot on him. That looked really good on that buck there. Yep. Probably got double lung on that one. That was looking at probably 300 yards exactly too. Ton of does out here. There's a young white tail buck there. I think we're going to use the 270 on him. If we can get a broadside shot on him. Shot looked a little bit high, but apparently it wasn't because it was perfect drop shot and he went down right there. Now the time that we're out here, we started at 16 o'clock and 16 o'clock is a really good time to come out here um, over towards the South Lake. Well, according to this, it seems like they're out here right now. Like I said, I've been looking for big whitetails for a while and I can't seem to find one that's gold potential. And we just found that one, but we still can't quite get to him yet. He's Still 617. All right, so let's pick this white tail up. Then we'll track down those two black tails. If that black tail would have happened to stop, I probably would have taken a shot, but we are using the 270, so that wouldn't have been a good situation. 305 yard spine shot on this white tail. He scored 91. 50%, 25%, and I see a buck down right here. So it potentially could be gold depending on how big it is. Let's take a look. 117 this is definitely not the big buck but we made a nice shot 317 yard left lung liver stomach shot so if we made that good of a shot at this buck we should have hit the other buck as well pretty good all right well there must be some kind of a glitch because i can't find any sign that we hit this buck at all but i saw the percentage going down quite a bit so i know we got a single lung hit on him for sure but i just can't find any tracks from that buck or any sign that we did hit him we're just going to keep on looking around until we possibly find some kind of indication that he is hit or until we find him laying down right here, just found him. Like I said, I can't find any indication that he was hit, but he's laying down right here and I can just barely see him bedded in this thick grass here. He's gonna be a nice one, let's pick him up. 142 silver, we made a 283 yard right lung shot on him as he was bedded down, so pretty nice shot. Apparently we should have aimed just a touch higher, but still not a bad black tail, 142, definitely goal potential buck. And we got 671 total score on him, 959 cash. All right, guys, we just found him. He's right out here at, well, he's, I think he's 300 because right now it says 470, but I'm pretty sure he is, yeah, 320 is right there. So if that's 320, and this is 302, he's definitely not 472 out, but he is 300 exactly, perfectly broadside. We're going to use the 270 on this one. We'll zero in for 320, and we should be able to put it right on the center of the lung. And it should make a nice shot. He's hit hard. Percentage is going down. It wasn't quite a perfect shot. We probably should have aimed just a touch higher. But still made a solid hit on him. And he should go down right over there. Alright, well since we do have another doe here, we're going to take a shot on her as well. That was a perfect shot. She didn't even move at all. She went down right there. And the white tail buck should be over there. I think there might be one more doe over here just to make sure. Yeah, there is one right there. But it's not a very good angle, so we're going to hold up on that. This bull elk is out here at 270. We're going to go for a shot on him if we reload our 270. And if he stays in range long enough. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he might step back out. 
can just barely see him. Look like a good hit on me. All right, let's go head over and go see what's going on. We should have a white tail doe down and a white tail buck down. That bull elk should be hit good enough to go down. Uh, this should be our white tail buck down right here. Yep, it is. Let's go pick him up. All right, let's take. A Ooh. <laughs> this is a nice buck. I didn't realize how big he was. Look at that. That's a gold potential buck right there. For sure. He looks like he's a 140 for sure. 128. So pretty close. Made a nice shot though. 300 yards exactly. And we made a left lung hit on him. 128. He, I think he was on the bottom end of being gold. So definitely my biggest one I've had since I hit level 50. So I'm really happy with this buck. That really is a great buck to see. Especially considering I was looking at 110s as a decent buck before now this is going to be considered a decent well this is a huge buck considering i can't even break 110 lately but for now this is a really cool buck the elk is down right there good bull down and we took him with the 270 palmer tips oh yeah that is a nice one he's a 200 plus for sure 196 we made a liver stomach shot at 223 yards so as you can see, we were aiming for the front shoulder, but he was kind of walking, so we hit a little bit further back. Still centered him pretty good. That bull moose is right there. We went for a spine shot on that bull, and I don't know if we got it or not. It was pretty close. I don't think we missed by much if we did. And that was a solid hit for sure. Yep, 50%. All right, so we finally found our bull down. Let's go pick him up and see what he's going to score. He's probably going to be like a 150. 136, so he was a younger bull. He wasn't even that big of a bull. Uh, you know what? This is not the same bull. This is not the same bull. All right, well, we got a lot of tracking to do, but for now, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. That's a monster. 159 to 213 score estimate, and 187 to 220 pounds on that buck. All right, let's go with that, and let's pick him up. Oh my god, a 210 scoring diamond white tail buck. I can't believe he was that big.